about three or four weeks ago, maybe a month ago at this point, I noticed that no human being in the world had ever done a master difficulty, the hardest difficulty in, in Hitman. Silent assassin, that means getting five stars on every level, never getting seen by anyone, killing only your target, suit only run. So I did the entire game on the hardest difficulty with the hardest star rating only in a clown suit. I did the whole thing in a clown suit. And I was very happy with that. I got a world record. It took me three hours and 45 minutes. And then very quickly, soon after, the Hitman speedrunning community sort of laughed at me. The man that beat my time was also the man that approved my time. Soldier, one of the goats of Hitman, a man who holds like three dozen Hitman world records across a variety of things, who posted a screenshot of my world record at three hours and 32 minutes and said, laughing emoji, this is too painful for me. So he came back with a record that knocked three hours off my time. He beat the trilogy on Master Difficulty in 42 minutes. And so I, I resolved my gamer pride at stake to at the very least beat that record. That I would do the one thing that God has given me the ability to do in video games. And that is grind. And grind I did! Day one, I ended up getting, at the very end of stream, the Hitman 1 world record, Pog Champ. It was dope, but I, it was not my goal. My goal was the trilogy. But on day two, a few hours in, after many resets to Paris, something special happened. Something that will go down in history. I'd like to watch that now. Starting in Paris, again, the target is two fashion moguls, and I have to start outside because I'm committed to clown suit. This is a clown suit only run whenever possible. The only way I can get five stars every level is if I kill the target, nobody notices them dying, or they see it as an accident, and nobody else died. So what I'm doing right here is I throw this coin really high on the wall, thanks to Psychic and Chat, who pointed out that I was throwing it too low, to distract his bodyguard. He's coming down the stairs. His bodyguard checks on the coin, and at that moment, I shoot the chandelier. It Boom. Chandelier kills him. Chandelier kills him. He's dead. I have very little time to get this shot. Wait, I'm a little bit late, Ski. <laughs> you are a little bit late, Ski. Shoot from here like a king. Uh, I, I shoot early, and I basically am shooting into the third floor window. I know for a fact that Dahlia Morgulis, my other target, passes underneath the chandelier at about a minute 35 seconds. So I shoot the chandelier, she gets killed, and we escape. Basically in public, we do it. The guards are all looking away at that moment. Now, this is one of the coolest levels in the game uh, just for casual play, but it's quite annoying in speedrunning because you have to also kill the virus. You have to kill both people and then destroy the virus. This level is all about switching pistols. So what I do at the start is I grab four different pistols. I grab a loud pistol, a quiet pistol, a tranquilizer, and a fast shooting pistol that can open doors. So if you shoot this, this thing right here, this panel, it causes one of your targets, Silvio Caruso, to come check on the telescope. Then I shoot behind this guy's head to distract him. Once this guy looks away, I yeet up this thing. There's an Easter egg in this level that is actually used in the speedrun. This ship is not part of any quest, any story. You'll never find it unless you explore. But it's subtly hinted that the, the main target hates his lab partner, who's the other target. And because he's been working on a DNA virus, he actually made a copy of his DNA virus coded for his lab partner, Francesca DeSantis. And it's hidden in this ship. So if you open the ship, you find this DNA virus, virus no, and it's the most... Virus. Yeah, he'll explain it right now. I this think. This virus is DNA coded to kill his lab partner, which we're going to use right now. It is literally the best item in the game. <laughs> if they even walk into its path ever, they die. Yeah, so I said it well. It's, it's tasteless and traceless. I just toss it on her computer desk because she goes there eventually, and I just leave. And if she even comes in the path of it, she dies instantly, and her guard doesn't know why. So now, as you can see... Silvio Caruso, on his way to the telescope, passes underneath at the exact moment the uh, chandelier of the globes, and I just come down there and shoot it, kill him. So that's one down already. He's dead. She's dead. And now she's dead. She died from the virus. So now both targets are dead by 205. Now I just got to kill the virus. The virus is in here, in this lab way down there. And normally you have to sneak in with a hazmat suit and disable it. My original speedrun strat was to shoot it with a sniper. You can shoot with a sniper from all the way over here. But the actual goaded way to do it is to take an EMP charge and just yeet it at the laptop over here, which I'm doing right now. And then 
uh, right when you're about to exit, just detonate it. It triggers the laptop and destroys the virus. I shoot this guy in the shoulder so he's panicked, doesn't notice me. Trigger it, the virus is gone, and you're out. There's a riot going on in Marrakesh. Uh, you have to kill someone in the Swedish consulate and kill the military general planning the coup. And he is normally very hard to kill because he's surrounded by guards. But the beginning of this level is so sick because you found a we found a way to kill him really fast. So right here, I trank this shopkeeper to distract the guards. Trank him. While they're stunned by him falling, I just run past them, pull out the sniper rifle, and shoot my target while he stands next to this explosive barrel. You have to shoot it twice. That counts as an explo uh, accident kill. <laughs> it's a propane accident. So right in the first 20 seconds, I've killed the hardest target. And it's a complete accident. No one notices. And you don't lose Silent Assassin. Now, the garage is very hard to get through. I use car alarms. Yeah. Look I at it. Look at that car alarm. What, <laughs> what could have caused it? <laughs> I shoot the car alarms. What could have possibly caused it? I just picked up a gun that makes people sick. It makes them go to the... Makes them have to vomit. And now the plan is to set a trap for Klaus Strandberg and then set off the fire alarm so he runs into it. So I put a propane tank right here. I get rid of the guy that goes down the stairs first by making him go to the bathroom, make him sick. And then I drop a proximity mine next to the propane tank. And the key here is to shoot the fire alarm with a sniper rifle from across the room. And there we go. So now all I have to do is get out. He's going to run into my bomb. And he should blow up any second now. Any second now he should... He should. Run right I think he does. My, he does. So on this one, it's normally very hard to kill Jordan Cross the Rockstar. But at the very beginning of the game, he is in a recording booth on the third floor with very thin floors. And we exploit that by shooting open this door and right at 25 seconds, tossing an explosive golf ball. <laughs> and it actually kills him through the floor while he's recording his album. Tiger Woods! And he falls down to the floor and no one can see his body. I have to hit the spray and pray. <laughs> Wait, aim true! Hey, give so me now I'm truth, nervous because I have to use an oh, Uzi to shoot a chandelier right about now. Yeah, <laughs> I literally just pray <laughs> every <laughs> single time. I just aim in the direction <laughs> and I click. Now I just trank the other guy and we're out. Hey. So now I'm still behind and you'd think, why wouldn't I restart by now? The reason I don't restart in the first four levels is because the strategy I have for Colorado <laughs> was so far ahead of the previous world record that as long as I could get this one down, it would almost make the run, at least for Hitman 1. Now, this comes from a person named Honeybuns on YouTube who had literally 50 viewers, like 14 subscribers, 50 viewers. I found this video. I thought it was the most goaded strategy. I messaged them, and over time on Discord, I had them teach me this run. I, I mean, I worked on it myself, but I had them, like, give me their thoughts. And, and once I mastered this muffin boost strategy... It really, really increased my Hitman one time. It's so important to get Colorado. So what I do is I wait for the end of the cutscene. One thing to note about Hitman is the characters are always moving even in cutscenes, but the timer isn't. So if you watch a full cutscene on some levels, it's because you want the characters to move to a certain spot. So what I do is I place my briefcase as a, as a booster seat, and then I throw a muffin on top of it. Because when the muffin crumbles, you can stand on it and get even more height. And these few inches matter because I use them to get this shot. Now I'm pausing here but I'm shooting the gas tank on a lawnmower to make it leak through a fence across the game. And I have to do this in the first like 20 seconds and we get this shot. You can't even see what you're shooting, but I shoot a gas tank. Then I shoot a chandelier. The chandelier falls on someone, kills one target, one down. I blow this car up by shooting the gas tank to distract all the guards. And then I do one shot on the gas tank of this car. Now I pray. I pray that that lawnmower explodes that I shot earlier. It happened. It happened. Oh, that's really so good. right then, the, the gas, the lawnmower exploded and killed Ezra Berg. It's very finicky. That's the, that's a kind of RNG part of the run. So now I shoot this hay bale. It crushes her as she goes out of the building. And then that car I shot earlier, I shoot it one more time. And it blows up and kills him as he passes. And you can see I'm very excited. Oh. That was sick. Because that is a incredibly fast Colorado. It's like 40, 50 seconds faster than the previous world record run of Colorado. And so now I have a massive lead. We are currently 30 seconds ahead of world record pace. Hokkaido, one of the most fun and straightforward levels. The first guy you're killing is your former boss, who is, uh, I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm singing. Undergoing heart surgery right here. So I just make him have cardiac arrest by setting up an explosion <laughs> next to the wall. <laughs> a lot of singing in this run. 
So right here, I'm going to place this briefcase to distract the other target, Yuki Yamazaki. Let me try and explain what's going on here. So right now, I'm trying to explain it. This is my target. These are her two bodyguards, and there are two more bodyguards over here. You can only have a max of three tranquilizer bullets. So she walks around this corner and sees this briefcase. I tranquilize all her guards in the back before they see me. Uh, three out of four. Then I choke her out. I break her neck. Right out of sight of the fourth guard. He is right here, but he cannot see me. Because of this wind, I mean, this, this pillar. <laughs> New world record, again. So that is Silent Assassin. Even though I tranked three guys and choked her out basically in public, nobody actually sees me. That was definitely faster than yesterday. Hitman world world record, new one. All right, Night Call. This is the first mission of Hitman 2. It's a relatively easy mission, but to speedrun it, it's very finicky. And there's a slow and safe strat that I was gonna do. But in the moment, for some reason, this whole run, I kept going for the riskiest stuff. And it paid off. Instantly pull out my tranquilizer, open the secret room, grab the USB stick, shoot the camera to destroy all records before they even happen, and trigger the sequence. All right, so right as she comes home, I haul ass down the stairs and kind of use this wall to tranquilize both these guys before they see me. And then I hit her with a lethal syringe in the back right as she adjusts the temperature. <laughs> now again, if she even turns her head slightly and sees me, the run is over. I mean, you lose all the time. And that counts as an accident kill because if you hit him with a syringe, it's a heart attack, basically. So she's dead. Now I just have to get to the boat. So the trick I use here is that if you shoot somebody with a body shot from a very far distance, which I'm doing here, they just go into pure panic mode and you can run right past them. They, they go into, they're basically in combat mode and not like looking for clowns with guns on the beach mode. So clean. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a safe strat. I almost talked myself into doing this safe strat and then I said, F it. We ball. So 125 is beautiful. After Colorado and this level, I'm now well ahead of world record. All right, so I start the level off. The the big change from my route to the one I'm Uzi. Can I say it already? Just aiming this Uzi. <laughs> it's hard. It's a nightmare. It is not. It's it's my stress. Grab this propane tank. Propane tanks are the lifeblood of a speedrunner in this game, because if they blow up. It counts as a propane accident, just an accident kill. I drop the propane, I get it, I get it kind of half exploded there. I drop my briefcase to distract him, and then I put a proximity taser next to the next to the thing. So the idea is that my target will walk past this, see the briefcase, go to pick it up, and trigger the bomb. After it's the bomb, I go outside, immediately snipe his daughter, blow up her car. <laughs> Damn, she, she's down. dead. And in fact, her car smashed into the wall so hard it like was creating <laughs> glitch noises. We don't do the dolphin exit like we used to, but it takes it just takes too long. I can't pull it off in this run anymore. So we got a 143. Santa Fortuna requires you at the very beginning of the level. If you shoot just the right way with a sniper rifle, you can hit your target in her skull such as she falls behind a desk and no one sees her body. If she falls any other way, her body is found. On a dime, I stop right about here, turn, pull out the sniper rifle in the middle of the street, aim at right right about here, shoot it. <laughs> and you, I got the shot. So basically the key to this garden is just shooting the sniper rifle in ways that distract everyone's line of sight and then you slowly sneak through. So I attracted this guard, I mean this gardener with a sniper rifle gun. I tranquilize this gardener. I shoot this wall to distract the maid. I shoot right here to distract this guard. Everyone's looking at the bullet holes and not at me. What's beautiful about this, and this is entirely, uh, this is new for this run. This is something I sort of concepted by playing this level a lot. When a character in Hitman gets shot with the getting sick gun, the vomit gun, which I shot him with there, they automatically go to the nearest restroom to throw up. If that restroom is occupied, they go to the second closest restroom. So I don't tranquilize this guy. I make him sick on purpose so he can take the porta potty later. This is my target, the drug lord Rico Delgado. I basically stare at him with a gun until this bar almost fills. And then he goes to check out where you were. He doesn't know if you're a clown or not. I shoot to distract that guard, and then I shoot him right in the nuts. Right in the nuts. I said it. <laughs> That's how I help myself remember the, where to shoot, though. And now you can see, hopefully, that is the first guy. He's throwing up in this porta potty. If I were to make my target right here, Jorge Franco, sick, he would normally go to this porta potty. But because it's occupied, I land this crazy shot. I'm so <laughs> cracked. 
By the way, that's a crazy shot. There's so much bullet drop on that trink. Oh, that's just a crazy shot, bro. <laughs> I'm too hyped. <laughs> How am I hitting these shots in the mo? I don't hit those offline. I, I don't. I, I I can't hit that shot ever again, probably. <laughs> so now you can see, now my target is going to the other porta potty because it's occupied. And right as he's on his way, he's alone, and I just shoot him in the head. 246. That's the best I've ever done. That is a PB. I've never gotten to 246, bro. That was just everything was beautiful on that run. So now we're on to Mumbai. Hop this wall, take out my silenced pistol, and shoot here. To distract, uh, distract one of my first targets. Shoot there to distract that guard. And I run past him. This guy's moving a little fast, so I bump him. So he won't see me around this corner. The first guy I'm trying to kill, I know will eventually walk down this alleyway. So once I've tranked this guard, I drop a taser in the puddle. And if you ever electrify somebody in water, they die instantly. It's accident kill. Okay, so right here, if you toss a brick in this oven, it makes smoke come out of the top of the building, which causes two of my targets to go to a secret meeting location. Now, they never actually get there, but once I do that, that means I know their route. So I know where they're going and where they're headed, and I can inter intercept them and get the kills. So I kill the first guy, grab a car battery. This is an important car battery. I grab it right here. And then I go down here, and I turn on the faucet. This is how in-depth this game is. I turn on this faucet, make a puddle of water, and throw a car battery in it. And that kills him when he walks through it. It shocks him to death. That should happen like right now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and now the final kill is pretty easy. So I just walk up to my target in the middle of the street, drop a propane tank, drop a, a bomb that is too small to kill a human, but large enough to explode a propane tank. <laughs> and I just blow her up and she falls into a trash can. Wilton Creek is the suburbs level, one of everyone, most people's favorite level. You have to kill an old man hooked to an oxygen tank and his head of security. So right off the bat, I, uh, I use the intro sequence to get him closer to taking oxygen. And then I shoot his oxygen tank twice through the window. Right in public. Drop my sniper up on the ground and run away. Electrify this guy's mailbox. He checks the mail. He's dead. And then I need to steal a letter. So this level requires you to not only kill both your targets, but find three clues as to where what secret society they're part of. One of the clues is in this guy's jacket pocket. So I tranquilize him and the guy that would have seen him. Oh, he almost saw me. Grab the letter. And it's full of explicit descriptions. No! Of how unhappy Janus oh, is. Oh, thank so God. That was very close to being the end of the run. This is a good fight. He just died? He's dead. Yep. In the electrified mailbox. Second clue I just found. And then the third clue I find by taking the shovel and digging up his backyard. Landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The clown. <laughs> and at this nice. point in the run, I was starting to feel nice. like, oh, he man, this could actually right, be the go. run. You can, yeah, you could just see. Like, I'm, like, taking it way more serious. Everyone's spamming aim true because I really need to not f*** up this shot. So I sneak over to the grass here, and I aim at this second or third story chandelier. The problem with this shot is that she is surrounded by people that walk with her. So I have to find a way to get the people with her to walk away from her before I shoot the chandelier. Otherwise, I'll kill my non-target and lose. So right about a minute, I shoot the roof. And that makes her guard look away. Then she takes two steps. Now that's a hard ass shot. That's why I said, thank God in the moment. I thought that could be the end of the run. Now I cue the music by talking to the harpist. That makes my other target come out here to the funeral. And while she's on her way, I sneak amazingly through this tall grass. I mean, it's just literally a clown. A clown with a sniper rifle holding a propane tank and no one notices because you're in the tall grass. It's, it's crazy. And I drop the propane tank here and the proximity taser right next to it. Now this only works if you've opened the propane tank. So I have to shoot it in public. That's where I lost last time, but no one saw me this time. And boom, she's dead. Hitman 2 World Record. Yes. So this is New York, my favorite level in the whole game. Right off the bat, there's the worst security guard in the whole game. I think I mentioned it, but... To explain what happens is, he will not let you pass this way. But if you hug this wall, he considers you to, <laughs> to not pass his trespassing zone. His trespassing zone is like this square. <laughs> security guard ever. <laughs> he just doesn't care. Right here, none of these stockbrokers will see you as long as you crouch and run fast. They're just focusing their stocks on their Dogecoin going to the, the floor. I grab that newspaper from his desk and that's important. All right, now, <laughs> I love this part. It's a room with four people in it. If any of them sees someone die, I lose. She's surrounded by guards. 
So I have to find a way to get them all down without anyone seeing the other. So I toss my briefcase in the center of the room to distract them. I run behind this couch, trank this guy, then this guy. She's looking away. Knock out this guy with a newspaper, shoot the camera, and then shoot her in the head. Although it is crazy that Agent 47 can throw a newspaper so hard that it knocks out a seasoned security guard. So far in the run, I have made no mistakes. I am like incredibly ahead of the world record. Haven is my least favorite level in all of Hitman because the walls are so poorly coded. People see you through the walls all the time. Chad has seen me mold at Haven more than anything else. Yeah, I shoot the wall twice. It scares her into running away. So then I duck into this, this foliage right here, this garden, pull out my sniper rifle, and I'm supposed to shoot her. But this oh, bird oh, watcher I got seen. right here the time that I lose? sees me. And that cost me 27 seconds. Well, I'm only about a minute ahead now of the world record time. Lose it. If I lose late, it's bad. 27 seconds, no big deal. And this time I go extra far away from him. And even still, he's so nosy. And I shoot her right here. And her body falls in a spot where no one checks. Then I put a sniper away right as he walks up. If he had seen me again, it would have ruined the run. I was like a millisecond from getting seen. Now, this guy is my... I just hate this target, bro. And I start giving myself a pep talk. Because I'm like... It's actually look, look, me here, Brandon. <laughs> I don't know. I call myself Brandon. It's fine. Just, just you know how to do this part. <laughs> I'm just pep talking myself like a psycho. So you shoot here. Distract this guard. And then I place my briefcase right here. And he is down at the looking out his window and looks down. And he sees it. Yes. He sees the briefcase that I planted and he goes to check it out. It's the only way to get this psychopath out of his house. And luckily, right in front of his front door is this pot above the door. Boom. He's dead. And I'm so happy. You can just see how f***ing happy I am. Yes, world record, Hitman 2. And now two. it's a third world record for Hitman 2 plus DLC. And in my head, the only thing I'm thinking about is, man, you're going to choke this on train and it's going to hurt. I was like, you're gonna, everyone's going to spam sages. Dubai is the fastest level in the whole game. If you, you know, if you have a little bit of risk with your aim, on, clown. you can do it in 30 seconds. I climb this wall. I shoot one guy in the head. And I have about 10 seconds until his guard finds his dead body. I'm going to show you right now. I shoot this guy in the head on the balcony. And after I shoot him, in about 10 seconds, his guard will walk in and see his body. And then I'll lose. Toss a flashbang into a room full of guards. All right. So right as the flashbang explodes, I knife him in the head. And then I escape. The second the flashbang wears off, they see his dead body and you lose. Soon yes! No yes! You, need to find you see I paused the there? You see that zen yeah, breath? I paused in the menu. I took a breath because I knew. I knew I was a frame off and I, I had to just <laughs> nail it. <laughs> All right, so I start behind the mansion. This is a really cool level. And I have to sneak in and steal two keys and then kill a target without her being seen, her body being seen. So I duck up and down in this grass to get the maximum speed because I have to get into this room very fast. Pull out my trank, hop through the thing, shoot her in the back, distract this guard by shooting the roof, and then pick up her key. All right, so right here, I think the run is over, but it's not. Basically what I'm doing, you can see on the map, the red circle is my target. She walks down this hallway. I peek out and she sees me. And you can see for a moment I lose the green guns. Green guns is a signal that you've got silent assassin. That you're on five star pace. But I shoot the chandelier and it kills her, erasing her memory. Tranquilize her butler. Take the final key. Now, this is the thing I added to the run. There's an item called shaman powder, which is mostly useless because it's too f***ing loud. But what I use it for is I just toss it at nobody. And they all look at it. <laughs> and then I could just run past four cops out the, out the exit. On Berlin, there is no feasible way to go for a world record run while playing as a clown. The closest thing I could get was this guy dressed in a bucket hat with a shirt that says, I love techno in German, which is essentially dressed like a clown. True. Okay? True. That's as close as I can get. Secondly, I will be dressing as a clown in real life while I do Berlin. Distract this guard. Hit him with a fish. Oh, f the run's dead. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> that guy catches you, but because he's a target, because he's one of the assassins, you can just kill him, and it raises his memory. There's no, there's no one else. No one else sees you except for the target. Shoot this bag of bricks. I think I Shoot say this it. bag of bricks yeah, okay. at 145. <laughs> okay. Stay focused. 
Falls on the guy's head, kills him. There's a disco ball in the trees. This is the RNG part, because uh, sometimes it kills another guy. Kills him, though. Shoot the sniper while he's fixing his sniper. Ironic. Ironic. <laughs> Shoot this guy while he's bird watching. Shot the sniper rifle. Hit the pizza guy with the violin. Oh! <laughs> is that not the... F that is a run! Feeling myself a little bit. It's like a, it's like John Wick, dude. Feeling myself a little bit. I just bit. go from one side level to the other, killing assassins. Uh, have you seen a girl? Around? No, I haven't seen a girl around. I have not seen a girl around. <laughs> nope, I haven't seen her. Sorry. <laughs> Doing a bit. Right, Very funny. Back. Drop quack. Blow him up. Oh my god, what was that? Distracts the guards. I don't know, but there's a clown running away from the scene of the crime. Hush mm -hmm. is in a room surrounded by other scientists. So all I have to do is rush to his location, which I'm doing right now. And then sneak in and jab him in the back while everyone's not looking. Right about now. Unfortunately, that oh, guy looks. Set. And now I'm nervous. Now the run is in trouble. Because that was a lot of time into the level to have to reset. I lose all that time. That's about a full minute of time. So basically all my lead is gone now. So I need to be perfect from here on out. I wait for him to turn around completely. And then I crouch. I go in a little bit slower. Right in the back. And then I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I said the same thing. Yeah, thank God. If I do this level right, like no mistakes really fast, I can get this level as low as two minutes. But I was kind of slow on this run after, even after the f*** up. Oh, cringe. I say, oh, cringe. You hear me say, oh, cringe. Because I notice my target is coming out of this door. If you do it really, really fast, she'll come out of this door. Because you, you set her in motion earlier and she turns this way. So, when she comes out of this door, it's way harder, way riskier, and, and you could throw the run. So, I, my heart drops when I see she's coming out of this door and not this one. So now I have to kill her and her guard from the side instead of from the top, which is much easier. So I just crouch here. Again, her head can turn. If they see me, I'm done. But I wait. I'm in the zone. Absolute focus. Get him. Get her. Trank, trank. Crack her neck. And escape. Yes! So now I do the math to find out I'm barely ahead. 37 seconds ahead still. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even do like a slow train. I can't do a slow and safe train. And I'm already scared to death of train. I drop Quack right there. It distracts her. Look at this awesome duck. It's Quack. It's a great editor. My target goes to check it out. <laughs> she almost sees me from the balcony right there. Oh. She see me? <laughs> if she got distracted, she's going to rough all my timings. So I jump in. I steal the keys to his Ferrari or his car. I don't know what it is. Wait, sit down. Sit down for real. And then right as he stands up to investigate, I steal the axe from his wall and slit his throat with it. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> Drop that. Shoot the gun on the ground to distract everybody in the courtyard. And then I just run. And this is nerve-wracking. Everyone can turn around and see me at any moment. I just... Ah! 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 Please, 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 please. please. Steal a sports car. We're on train. We're on train. Now it's come to this. Going into train, I still have a 37 second time buffer, which means I can play fairly safe. Unfortunately, as you can see in my cold, dead eyes, I have no intention of playing safe. You can tell it's a goaded train run from the start if this thing right here doesn't hit you. If you dodge that, that means you're playing almost frame perfectly. Oh, by the way, it's 47 seconds in, which means if I make any mistake, it's over. I'm already past my buffer. This room exit is pure, pure RNG. You have to go from this room to the train window. And there is a guy in the hallway whose head it moves randomly. And if he happens to be looking right at you, you just lose. Soldier said it himself in his own run, the guy that I beat. If you watch his YouTube video, he says, yeah, this is just a random part. So I jump out of here and he barely doesn't see me. I roll my eyes to the ceiling. That could have been it. That means I was like one frame. His eyes were like one frame from being dead on. Right here, a million guards. I jump down right as he looks away, drop the uh, the flashbang in, and take the the th flashbang back out. I mean, the, uh, the fuse back out. This guy will always find you, so I have to knock him out during the flashbang and drag him before anyone sees me. Pull him into a room with two other guards who are looking the other way. After six footsteps, he's far enough away he doesn't hear the soap. Three, four, five, six. Knock him out. The smart thing to do here is just wait. To look out the window, 
Look at the guards' patterns and move when they're looking away. That is the smart thing to do here. But for some reason, this psychopath decides not to wait. I again, I'm ahead of pace. Every other run, I would have just waited here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But I grab the hammer and I just go for it. I duck behind this. I go for it again. Again. This guy right here is looking right at me. He turns away. You can just wait, but I just go for it. I, and again, right here. If you watch Soldier's World Record Run that I was competing against, he waits for this guy to walk all the way down the hall and you just bonk him and then close these doors. I don't wait. You don't even know when he's going to turn around, bro. He could turn around at any moment. Boom, boom, bonk. I knocked that guy out and I stole his gun and I dropped the gun right here. Then I literally stand up at the end of a 41 minute world record run i have to stare this guard in the eyes until this is almost full it's this many pixels from being over <laughs> and i just duck back here and right before he finds me he stops and he sees a gun on the ground and you can see i'm just closing my eyes praying and he goes to the gun and he passes me and i duck behind this guy and this guy then I pull out that pistol I got earlier, and I shoot her in the arm. And that panics everybody, distracts her, and I and I, I made it. And right about here, I know I made it. And you see it in my smile, bro. Speedrunner, bitch! World record! World record! Hitman! Trilogy! World record! Yes! If I'd have known that was going to get clipped, I probably, you know, that's from my, that's like the biggest clip in my channel's history because it was on LSF. I probably wouldn't have shouted speedrunner bitch. <laughs> I would have said something cool, <laughs> but I didn't. I just shouted speedrunner bitch because I was so happy that I made it. That was the most, that was the cleverest thing I could come up with. <laughs> and we did it. And I'm so happy because all the grinding paid off. And then I give an impromptu speech about grinding. Never I doubt the grind. Never, ever, 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 ever doubt the grind. You can do anything if you grind. Because <laughs> I, I grinded so much for this. I mean, I, I must have f***ed up all these levels a thousand times. And I'm so glad I got it. And now I'm sure it will get beat eventually. Um, but, I you know, I had a moment where I had a real solid world record run against a good competition. So I'm happy to have done it. And uh, everyone say goodbye, YouTube. Thanks for watching.